Welcome to Greenpeace Radio. This is Bob Myers and I'm in Boulder, Colorado with Fred X to talk about solar energy. Hello, Fred. Howdy, Bob. How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Tell us about your home. This is an old post-World War II tract house. It was built in 1961. It's a thousand square feet, three bedroom, one bath. We've done a fair bit of work on the house to seal it and insulate it so it's a reasonably energy efficient house. The primary electric generation here in Colorado is from coal. And it's, it's not something that I want in my life. I, I would like to feel like, uh, like I'm not contributing to climate change. I started learning a bit about solar electricity and how to go about installing a system uh, because I was interested in, in seeing if financially it made sense uh, because certainly from an ecological perspective, it makes great sense to me. I had never done a house project before that required a permit. So I didn't know permitting process, I didn't know electrical code, and I was daunted. I think everything that I would hear about uh, photovoltaics is that the systems are complicated and there's, there were just all these buzzwords. They talk about an inverter and a DC cutoff and you need the right grounding and all this jazz. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to learn all this stuff. So I was talking with a friend who was paying attention to the solar rebates himself because he was contemplating putting in solar. And soon the rebates would be reduced. And I went home and I took a look at what he was talking about and I saw and I said, whoa, uh, well, do I really want to do this? And I said, yes. <laughs> so I jumped on it. The whole process was probably three months or so, but most of that time was just spent waiting. So it was waiting for the equipment to arrive. It was waiting for an inspector to come out. It was waiting for paperwork. The incentives paid for about half the cost of this system. I tracked all my expenses as I went through this project. My total out of pocket for the entire system, including everything, every little last nut and bolt from Home Depot, everything I did, uh, totaled out to $5,308. So installation day, uh, oh, you got everything here together. Did you have to rent some special equipment or? Yeah, definitely. I had to buy some beer for my friends who came out and helped me. <laughs> it was a nice day. So I had a stack of solar panels sitting in the grass in the backyard. The deal was that we don't open the beer until we're done on the roof. So just one by one, we lifted the solar panels up onto the roof and bolted them onto the racks. So I had already done the rest of the work. So I was ready when my friends came over and it took us maybe an hour to just very carefully one by one, lift the panels up and bolt them onto the racks and okay, next panel, nobody falls off the roof. <laughs> and, uh, and at that point we sat in the backyard and admired our handiwork and had a nice cold adult beverage. <laughs> <laughs> so that was pretty easy. I didn't need to read enough to become an expert. I only needed to read enough to know how to install my system. Many days I would go out in the middle of the day, I'd be like, oh, what's my generation now? You know, and take a look and how many, how, many, how many watts are coming off the panels. After a while, that gets kind of boring. There's nothing to do. There are no moving parts. The benefits that I see are that I don't have to think about my electric bill anymore. There is no electric bill. My excess generation is tracked and then in the winter time we might get a foot of snow and that snow might sit on the panels for a couple of days. So I might have some time with zero generation while I'm still consuming electricity. Well, because I have that excess generation in the bank, if you will, I can draw on that in the winter time. To be honest, I didn't know what I was doing when I started <laughs> and I'm so glad that I did it. Awesome. Thanks for listening to Greenpeace Radio. I'm Bob Myers, and I've been talking with Fred X in Boulder, Colorado. Thank you, Fred. Thank you for having me, Bob. It's a pleasure.